first question is going to be the obvious one. Are you ready for this amazing fan base worshipping you? Because they will. I think we're, we're ready to be worshipped. <laughs> <laughs> I've been waiting a long time. Hi, I'm 36. It's, I'm ready for some worship. No, I'm just kidding. Um, no, do you know, it's, it's interesting. People go, but, you know, because so many people love the Potter films. Making this film, we really felt the support of it. We felt the, the want from fans for it to be good. And I hope that we've delivered on that. And, um, and, but we felt so supported the whole way through it. So yeah. um, hopefully they enjoy the film, it's important. Yeah, this sort of image of, of fans that is sort of like something from like sort of Beatlemania or something like you're getting chased down the street yeah. or something that actually is so yeah. kind and enthusiastic and sweet. And it's just been nice to meet some of them, yeah. When I first saw you in Hand Twice, and when I first saw you in Theory of Everything, mm. I said, oh my god, Hollywood is going to throw these guys a superhero movie in no time. <laughs> <laughs> That's what they do now these days. Uh, but you ended up with the uh, J.K. Rowling world, yeah. which is quite better for <laughs> some people, I guess. Uh, how do you feel about this? How do you feel about going into this? Uh, uh, amazing lore and becoming a part of it. It feels pretty extraordinary to be honest because what's lovely is you're getting to jump into her imagination but with a character that or with characters that people don't have pre-existing expectations of so um, that gives you a certain freedom um, but also like JK Rowling is one of the greatest storytellers of our age and getting even just to be a part of her um, uh, her process is is pretty uh, phenomenal so I feel pretty lucky yeah I'm still just I I still pinch, yeah pinch, <laughs> I'm still in pinch, shock pinch, pinch. you think that that's something you kind of get over before you even start shooting the film but I still feel in shock that they hired me <laughs> <laughs> Shocking. <laughs> shocking. It was shocking. But all we had to do was the two of us had to walk around a corner. And we walked around a corner and there were about 8,000 extras, like cranes, cameras, the biggest sets you'd ever seen. And I think we had to do it about 30 times, this walk around again, because basically we just kept walking around the corner and our jaws just went, Grr. and that was not yeah. meant to be exactly <laughs> what we were doing at the time. So it was pretty awe-inspiring. Yeah. Also, they had, they directed the extras to move and behave like New Yorkers do and I don't know if you've ever been to New York but they don't necessarily um, get out of your way <laughs> so we were kind of getting really just exactly. jostled around and stuff and yeah that's really it was fun nice. though yeah well I gotta ask, ask this <laughs> Eddie because you know uh, after I saw the movie that's, that image just burned into my mind you know how did you come up with that making dance it was crazy. Oh, uh, crazy. <laughs> it's so interesting hearing the words that people describe the mating dance from. Uh, it, well, it was written in the script. J.K. Rowling wrote, you know, and now Newt performs mating dance, you know, and um, and when I read it, I was like, what? What? What does that mean? Um, and so I went and looked at YouTube videos of like weird bird mating calls. And uh, I, you know, thought long and hard about it, and it came to just a very horrific moment when this dancer that I work with sometimes she said, "Go on, we've just got to film something now," and she just filmed me making a fool out of myself. And I did a few of those, and we sent them all to David Yates, and then we'd wait a really embarrassing kind of three or four hour period, and then wait for his response, and he would come back going, oh, "I don't know if that one's quite seductive enough. I think you need to work on your rump movement there in order to kind of." Uh, and so he kind of you know, sculpted the dance from there, so. Uh, 